Previously, I used to keep everything I learn and listen to all stay in my head, and will never get out of it. And eventually, within a few hours, I will forget everything. That happens. It wasn't my fault actually, but I was responsible to change that. And this is when I found this amazing note-taking productivity master tool called Notion. Since then, whatever information I want to store or remember goes into Notion. Right from my college notes to course notes to podcast notes to book notes, everything goes into Notion. And this is my Notion setup as a student. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. If you are new here, my name is Manom. And today, in this video, let's look at how I use Notion effectively to manage my workflow as a student. So this is my Notion walkthrough, my Notion setup and database setup. So let's, without further delay, let's begin the video. Okay, let's start with my dashboard right now. And here on the top of my dashboard, I have my profiles. This includes all my social profiles from YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, GitHub, Reddit. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed to the channel or are not following me on these social platforms, go follow me there and subscribe to the channel. And let's get back to this. So. On the second row, I have college portfolio and a quote from Steve Jobs, which I come back to that later. And the first one is college. This college is basically a database setup, which I have separately. I just link the database over here so that all the contents of the database will be visible in this, uh, you know, a dashboard. And this is my resume portfolio I created on Notion. And the third column is a quote from Steve Jobs, which is, you can't connect the dots looking forward. You can connect them only when you look backwards. This is one of my favorite quotes from Steve Jobs, so it's saying that. And on the third row, which is again a set of database links, so all these books, podcasts and courses, all these three things are separate databases on Notion I have. As you can see on the side, if it's showing up, okay, what is this? Nice. So on the side, you can see uh, podcast studio, the clubs, book club and the course notes. All these three things, I just took a snapshot of that and stored it in this uh, dashboard so that it's easy for me to, you know, uh, stay in a single page and navigate through wherever I want. And the last and the final section is a dream desktop setup and a UI inspiration. I just go through YouTube or any, you know, uh, Google to look at some inspirations, get inspirations for my desk setup. And UI setups, I used to build a lot of UI with Flutter. So I look for inspirations from online everywhere. So if I find something interesting, just capture a screenshot of it, put it in Notion. And if I want it in later part, if I want to build something like that, I will just come back here and I will get to know what I want. I mean, I can get uh, the inspirations I want. So this is quite simple and it's not finished yet. It's still a work in progress, a uh, lot of things to be improved. But yeah, as of now, it's quite simple. And now let's move to the next section. Okay, now let's look at my college dashboard. We have seen my general overall dashboard. Let's look at my college dashboard over here. And as I said, as I shown you guys there, I took a snapshot of this database and stored it in my general dashboard so that it's easy for me to access it. But anyways, uh, college dashboard is here. I have my semester one and semester two. And let's click on semester one for now because semester two is still in a progress, but semester one is kind of complete. So um, as you can see, I have all the subjects I, which I took in semester one and the faculty name who handled the subjects, their cabin, their uh, the course codes, everything is there. So let's take one subject away. Let's me, let me take data communications and networking. And in this, inside this, uh, you know, data communication page, I have all the notes. Uh, note materials I have all the assignments which I have submitted and I have all the learning process like I will create my own questions and answer them all those kind of setup will be there so as you can see uh, these are all the notes which I taken in the previous semester for this data communication and networking subject so and the next section is again uh, the learning I have some questions I will answer them without looking at it all these things are sorted and assignment section assignments is there and the course outline so which is quite simple uh, not too fancy not too complicated it's quite simple and in the next video i will make a detailed view i mean a video on how i set this up and how you can use this i will give a template of that in the next video but for now let's stick with it and yeah that's pretty much it like i have se separated them into theory parts and lab and soft skills and stuff so yeah that's it it's quite simple again
the next database on the list in notion is my class notes as you can, as you saw in the previous you know college dashboard i just took a snapshot of this uh, class notes database and stored it in the college dashboard so that when i click on some particular subject it will just directly open the uh, notes section without me navigating through the uh, data i mean class notes database and then opening the notes i don't have to do that i've just took a snapshot of it and stored it in that college data uh, college dashboard database so it's quite convenient that and again this is quite simple i have all the five subjects which i took in the previous semester actually i took like seven subjects uh, two is not here because they are like quite simple and I, when i open this object oriented software engineering it will show me all the you know notes which i have taken in this particular subject so as you can see software and software engineering object orientation if i click on any one it will take me to the notes page itself where i have made like good notes uh, of the topic so as you can see these are all some of the notes which i have taken and again it's quite simple not too fancy took a screenshot of something which i read in online i just take a screenshot of it put it over notion so it's quite helpful uh, before examinations preparing for examinations i can just go through it i don't have to you know scatter through or google every single time or i don't have to go through ppts multiple times it's kind of boring i have a proper setup here i just, i can just like watch it and i can learn from here the next one is the podcast studio and whatever the podcast i listen to i take a snapshot of it i take a screenshot of it or i will take notes of it in this notion database this database contains all the notes which i have, i mean from the podcast which i have listened to from the run we show the mindset mentor the warrior's voice the habit coach indie hackers i love this huberman lab podcast he has so many scientific uh, things there all all these podcasts which i listen are quite, quite quite interesting and if you want you can check it out these are the list of podcast which i constantly listen to and um, yeah let's move on to the next one as i did with the podcast which i listen to i did the same thing for the books which i read all the books which i want to read which i'm reading right now which i've read in the previous three so all these things goes into this database from the steve jobs books which was the first book which i ever read i got it in like 2019 and read it for one year fun fact so uh, these are all some of the books which i'm reading which i've read which i want to read there are a lot of things on my amazon wish list but i haven't added most of them over here but yeah like as you can see for example let's take atomic habits atomic habits uh, i have taken a good number of notes about atomic habits which is one of the best productivity books uh, not not purely in productivity as well it's more about your habits your more about your lifestyle changes which you can incorporate in your life so it's quite an interesting book i have taken good uh, notes of it and and um, yeah this is the image cover it's loading 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 yeah finally the note is here so uh, i have described this book in three sentences which i like things i like about the book the impressions which the, the book left on me and how i uh, you know found this book and these are the note section as you can see i just take a photo of uh, the book if i find something interesting take a photo of it put it in notion that's what happens every time and if there's something important with something which uh, you know took my attention i will highlight them here i have highlighted it in yellow or uh, orange or something so this is how the uh, uh, books club section looks like again this is a course notes nothing too fancy over here whatever the course which i am attending or taking all the notes which i take all goes into here basically it's quite you know uh, random uh, notes which i initially take and then i will sort through all the things but as of now uh, only course which i am going through is this google ux course but every other course which i have taken i have uh, sorted everything all the notes are quite sorted i keep i like it to keep it aligned and proper so uh, that's how it works it's not too fancy not nothing to uh, you know uh, gigantic over here this is a linkedin friday linkedin workshop which i took from vibe of city which is a really good one you have to check it out and yeah it's quite interesting um, nothing too fancy i will again course notes nothing too fancy here same thing which i have did with book notes and podcast notes all the things all the courses which i take attend to or every note which i take goes into notion initially i like to keep it you know uh, too random but once a course is finished i will just sort through them keep them aligned which is quite you know easy for me to find in the future if i want to get back to this course notes and you know uh, refer to something which is quite helpful and um, yeah let's move on to the next one final one quite interesting one do it 
last but not the least is my youtube tracker database this database is one of my most important ones because all my youtube video ideas uh, titles our notes which i take for youtube videos the uh, you know progress of the youtube video everything is managed in this database as you can see uh, i'm currently shooting this video so it has to be in this uh, filming section so i put it there and um, i am writing the note i mean um, i'm writing for the next video as well i have a set of ideas almost 39 ideas on the list for making next and uh, i have all the list of videos in the editing process a list of videos which i schedule list of videos which i publish every single thing is managed in this database so if i want to show you guys how it looks from inside it's basically very simple i just copied from ali abdal and niklas crystal and thomas frank so it's basically a mixture of all the you know uh, uh, elements and templates given by ali abdal niklas crystal and thomas frank i just combined everything and removed things which i don't want and i made something which is compact table for me that's it nothing too fancy i haven't done any uh, you know great work over here so it has the title then um it has the production checklist editing checklist uh, thumbnail ideas branding checklist notes how to tell a story about uh, the video and stuff and all the notes with, uh, notes which i have taken i am I'm, i'm just doing a freestyle in this video so uh, everything is bullet pointed so that's it nothing too fancy everything is a kind of copy from other youtubers don't worry Yeah that's it nothing too fancy uh, this is how i use my notion for organizing my daily life as a student and i'm not even sure how much this video will be useful for you guys but if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and follow me on social platforms you know where to because i have shown you guys where you can follow me and that's it for me today i will see you guys next one bye bye